Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. In today's video, we're gonna be playing with the new Game Beauty Harbinger palette. I'm super excited. When they sent this to me, I was so pumped, but unfortunately, the day they sent it to me, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to film with it within the next, like, few days to a week or so, so I decided to make my first impressions video a two looks video just to give you guys an extra look. So in this video, you'll be getting two looks and I'll be doing swatches and close-ups of the palette. I'm super pumped. I've played with most of the shades now and I really like it. I will say, I think this is my favorite color story from them so far. They did send me this palette, but this video is not sponsored. I did do a sponsored video with them last time they released a palette, but this video is not sponsored. I'm doing it on my own free will, but I will let you know that I do have an affiliate code with the brand, and if you wanna pick up this palette or any of their palettes, you can use my code BattyBean to save 10%. I do make a small commission if you use it, and I appreciate it very much. Before we get into all of that, though, I did wanna just let you know that I will be going over my like wig and accessory details with each look as they happen, um, so just stay tuned if you're curious about any Thing. and I probably will do an Instagram video at some point so also stay tuned for that if you want an additional look anyways I think that's enough of that let's just move forward and go ahead and swatch the palette all right let's get into this beauty their packaging is always so pretty this is just so stunning I get really excited when they come out with a new palette because it's always so creative and innovative and then it opens up to reveal the beautiful inside we have 10 lovely shades a mixture of mattes and shimmers some of these shimmers are super duochromatic and amazing and I love them we have four mattes specifically and the rest are shimmers typically I do like a little bit more of a matte to shimmer ratio but in this case I feel like the mattes that they chose allow a variety of options so I'm okay with it. The shades Dawn down here and Abyss up here specifically are so reflective and so beautiful makes my heart so happy. <laughs> so yeah, that is the palette. I'm really pumped for it. We're gonna get into those two looks now, and at the end of the video, I will give you my thoughts so far. I haven't played with every single shade yet, but I've played with most of them. And I have my thoughts so far gathered, so let's just move in and create those looks. Hi, hello. Let's create the first look with this beautiful palette. This is my first time ever playing with it, and I'm just so pumped. This is for sure my favorite color story they've come out with. I just, I love it. I think it's so just dark and grungy and it's everything that I need in the world. Okay, I'm gonna prime with the Party Proof Primer from ColourPop. I've been enjoying this lately, so I'm gonna just keep using it. It's very soft feeling. It's like, it's almost bouncy. I don't know if that's the right adjective to describe this, but to me, it's almost a bouncy texture. It's really nice and plush. Okay, so I think I just wanna go ahead and start with Devour, that beautiful kind of pinky purple shade. It's really cute. I'm gonna use a Spectrum B06 for this, and I'm just gonna start working it through my crease. I think I'm just gonna take it all the way like through the crease. I don't think I'm doing anything cut creasy today. I think I just want a very, just kind of colorful blown out look. Kanade, do you want to leave even though you begged to come in? She's now rolling and meowing at the door. I will let you out. Go on, be free. We do this probably once a week. She says she wants to come in and then she doesn't actually want to be in when she realizes the door is getting shut. So yeah, continuing on, building up that crease. Ooh, and this color is so pretty and they have not come out with a color quite like this. It's very lovely. Let's go ahead and just take this a little on that lower lash line as well. Get this nice and smokeified. All right, so now I just wanna add some depth. I'm gonna take Doom, the black here. I'm gonna take that on this kind of super skinny, fluffy brush from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. crease brush. I am going to tuck that. Ooh, that is a nice dark black. I'm gonna tuck that right in the outer part of the eye. This shade in particular, I don't wanna drag all the way across. I want it very much focused just in the outer part of my crease and lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take a little bit more Devour on that Spectrum brush I had earlier just to work on softening these edges. That is quite lovely and that's exactly what I wanted. I just wanted to add some depth and darkness to this outer part. So now I'm gonna take the NYX Glitter Primer, use it with every shimmer ever. I'm just gonna put a little bloop of it on this fat packing brush and just Pop it across the lid. Again, I'm not doing anything cut creasy today. And then for the lid, I really wanna take the shade Whoa. That is just gonna get pushed across the lid. Oh, I love it. It's just like a rich burgundy cranberry kind of color. I've been really feeling just super smoky looks lately. Just want all the dark colors on my eyes right now. It's so pretty. Yup, that's beautiful and delicious. 
and all things good. All right, and for the inner corner, I just have to use Dawn. That looks so pretty. Oh, and side note, I use this Lumen shade as my face highlight today, and it's quite pretty. All right, let's pack some Dawn in the inner corner. Oh, that is so cute. I love that pinky shift it has. That's so pretty. Well, there we have it. This is the look. I'm going to recreate it on the other eye, throw on my lashes, eye pencil, and something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, look number one is a go. I realized I forgot to give you my like details, my jewelry and accessory details. Um, unfortunately, I do not know where this choker's from because it's very old. I found it on a random website many a year ago, um, but this is a Christmas brand wig off Amazon. You can check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling, and this is an F brand beanie. But yeah, this is the final look. I love it. I think it's so pretty, just berry grunge, and I'm all about it. The eye pencil I threw in is Jewel from NYX. My lashes are Miss Fury lashes from Rouge and Rogue. And on my lips, I went with the Call Waiting Lux Blur Lipstick from ColourPop. I kind of was hoping it was gonna be a little darker because it's a little darker in the tube, but I still like it. I like berries on my lips, especially once it gets to like this time of year, especially in the winter. This is gonna be a favorite in the winter. I love berry lips in the winter. So yeah, this is the first look. Let's go ahead and move on to look number two. Look number two. Let me give you my details before I forget. This is just another Christmas brand wig off Amazon. Again, check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. This is an F brand beanie, and I don't quite remember where the spider choker is from. It might be Palace of Glitter. I've had it for many years. Let's dive into look number two. I want to do something very black and smoky out here, um, and I really want to play with the shade Abyss all over the lid because it looks magical. I'm going to prime again with the Party Proof Translucent Primer from ColourPop. Just keep it consistent. All right, so I just wanna go right in with Doom first, that black. I'm actually gonna take it on the same e.l.f. crease brush that I used with this shade yesterday. I just wiped it off first to make sure there wasn't any other color mixed onto it. And I wanna focus this on the outer part of my crease and I want to smoke it all the way on the lower lash line. I'm just going in pretty gentle to start with. I hope you're having a good day. What are you up to today? Today's Saturday. I'm getting ready for work and tonight we're going to go see the new Halloween Kills movie and I'm so excited. Okay, so this is pretty much where I want to start it. I know it looks scary, but we're going to blend it out. I'm going to take Lament next, that gray. I'm just going to take it on this little Juno & Co brush. I mean, it's not that little, but it's a small-ish blending brush. I'm actually going to start with the lower lash line because I want the lower lash line a lot more diffused than it is currently. This is softening things up really nicely. I'm quite enjoying that. Gonna add just a teeny bit more black against the outer part of my lower lash line because I felt like I lost it a little bit. And I mean, that's pretty much all I want as my base. I know that's very simple, but that's kind of what I want because I really want the lid to shine the most. So now I'm gonna take my NYX Glitter Primer, of course. I'm just gonna take a little bloop of it on this thin, flat brush. I'm just going to plop it on the lid and I'm gonna kind of etch out where I want my shade to go because I do want this to be a fairly cut look. Even though I'm not really cutting a crease in the front because I didn't put shadow here, I still want it to be very much a cut kind of look and then just kind of flow in to this outer corner that we laid down. All right, taking Abyss now. And I'm really pumped because not only does the shadow look pretty, but in the last palette there was like, or maybe two palettes ago, one of the palettes there was like a blue and white like polka dotted looking uh, shade like this shade and it looked so dimensional on the lid. So I'm really excited for this. Just taking it on the same sticky side of that brush and we are gonna go to town. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is honestly unlike anything else that I have. They really kill it with these kind of marbled shadows, I will say. And I'm really glad they ditched the pressed glitter thing from their first palette because they just do a really good job with their shimmer formula. They're very sparkly and dimensional. They don't really need to have glitters in their palettes. I'm just kind of forming that little cut that I want to see up here. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't even know if the camera can do it justice. That is pretty glorious. I'm really into that. I think I do want to take a little bit of Herald, this blue. I think I just want to plop a tiny bit of it under that lower lash line just to give a little pop of color to this look. I like that. I think that just adds a little bit of 
extra interest. And for the inner corner, I really want to use Dawn again, but since I used it look number one, I guess I'll use uh, Lumen in the inner corner. And again, I used it as my face highlight today. <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Oh, it's so pretty. Well, that is look number two. I love that. That lid shade is so pretty. I'm gonna recreate it on the other eye, throw my lashes, eye pencil, and something on my lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete. All right, here's my look complete. I think it's very cute, it's very grungy. I love my lid. I think that is mesmerizing. It's so wet looking. I feel like camera probably isn't doing it justice. It looks like it's glowing in person. The eye pencil I threw in today is called Cosmic Speed from Urban Decay. It's just kind of a metallic gray. I just feel like it kind of went with those cool tones we had going on in the outer corner and lower lash line. My lashes are still Miss Fury lashes from Rouge and Rogue. And on my lips, I don't really like it very much, but it's the Fresh Kiss Lipstick from ColourPop in the shade Docs. I was really excited for this color, but it's so streaky. I fought with this for probably five minutes, and I still don't love it. Probably won't wear it again. Do not recommend this. It looks okay right now, but there was way too much fight, and I wanted it to be dark like the tube. But I will say I did try a light shade in this formula already and I really liked it. So I think it's just the dark that probably isn't going to be your best bet. But I do like the look overall. I think it's very cute. I'm going to finish getting ready for work now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How was it? Did you enjoy my looks? Which of the two is your favorite? I think I'm vibing with this one the most just because this lid shade is so pretty, but I really did like that kind of berry burgundy look I did yesterday as well. Let's get into chatting about the palette. At this point, I've played with all of the mattes except for the red shade. I didn't even intentionally skip that one. It just, I guess, wasn't at the forefront of my brain, but I will use that one in my Instagram video, I pinky promise you. Hopefully, unless I forget, <laughs> I'm gonna aim to use it in my Instagram video. But the other three shades blended really nice. Doom is a really nice black. It's not the blackest black I've ever used, but it does build up really nicely and it also blends out really nicely, which is pretty great for a black because sometimes they can be a little bit tricky. Lament worked really nice to blend out the black. I feel like it softened everything really nicely without leaving like a weird cast. There have been times I've used lighter grays and they just leave kind of a weird cast wherever you're blending. This one didn't really do that. I feel like it did a really good job just softening. And Devour was really pretty too. Sometimes purples can be tricky and that one was pretty nice. It built up really nice in my crease, blended really soft, no issues there. And then I used every shimmer except for Phantom. Again, I didn't mean to skip the silver. It just kind of happened. I had so many other beautiful uh, shimmers to play with. So I'll get to that one later. Lumen is so pretty. Again, I've been using it as my face highlight and it looks really pretty in this inner corner. Very bright white. It might be a little redundant from some of their other palettes. I feel like they almost always have just like a white shimmer shade, which I do like in a palette, but I don't need it in every palette. I almost wish this one had, I don't know, something a little bit different to it. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not mad that the shade is there, but I feel like it could have been something else just based on what they already have. Dawn is so pretty though. I get so excited for their duochrome shades and that one is so pretty. I desperately want to play with this one all over the lid. I might do a big wing look with this shade for my Instagram video with maybe Molten as like my background matte shade behind the crease and wing and stuff. I don't know. I'm brainstorming. Woe is really pretty. Woe and Herald specifically aren't crazy like glitzy sparkly, but they are very just metallic and rich looking. I really like the way the blue looks under my eyes and Woe looked really rich and delicious on my lid yesterday. Abyss though. This is the star of the show right here. I can't get over how cool my lids look. They do such a good job with their marbled formula. I've used some in the past that just kind of swirl into a basic shimmer, but something about theirs literally looks so like magical on the lids. I feel like it literally does look kind of marbled on my lids. There are so many different tones peeking through. I don't know how they do it. It's magic. It's my favorite formula from them, I'm pretty sure. Either that or just their regular duochromes are also really cool, but I'm really happy with Abyss. That is a showstopper right there. So yeah, so far I am very pleased with this. I can't wait to play with it some more. I'm excited to film my Instagram video. I don't know exactly when that'll be coming up. I have a forever long filming list right now, but it will be coming, so just stay tuned. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you pick this palette up? Do you wanna pick it up? I wanna hear all of your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a Halloween-related emoji because we are still in spooky season. And if you liked this video, I would love if you could give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Baddie Bean fam. I am Baddie Bean on everything. I post every day on Instagram and I'm pretty active on TikTok and Twitter as well. And if you want, you can subscribe if you wanna see more of my videos. I'm posting every single day in the month of October. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.